Hey guys, John here. I've got a quick project that I'm working on tonight that I don't think I've actually filmed before. I don't do a lot of it uh, these days, but I used to do quite a bit of it. Um, I have a set of handles here that did not meet my expectations, so I want to re-anodize them. Did you know you can actually strip off anodized aluminum, the layer of anodized, and re-anodize it a different color as if it's fresh? Um, so that's what this video is going to be all about. Uh, this is a set of handles Eric and I made a week or two ago, I can't remember. And it was an experiment. It didn't turn out the quality that I was hoping it would. The lines kind of looked terrible. And, uh, you know, it, as I said in my last video, it passes the five foot test, but knife guys like to see stuff up close, so that does not meet my expectations. But uh, it was a cool experiment to try. I have no regrets or anything, but I'm going to strip them down. Uh, and how you do that is you soak these in lye. That's um, you know the chemical made make to you, the chemical used to make uh, soap and explosives and all kinds of stuff. But drain cleaner, usually made of lye. So you soak it in lye, and it basically eats away the aluminum. And you're hoping to just eat away the layer of anodized aluminum until it's gone, and these will be pretty much silver again. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Here's my Rubbermaid tub full of lye. Um, as you can see, it's quite full. Due to some spillage, it's starting to, I don't even know what that powder is, but... So it's quite a full container, and just by putting it onto the shelf here, you know, it sloshes around a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what this white stuff is, but I'm sure it's nasty. Uh, it's already starting to corrode the metal galvanized uh, table that it's on right there. So I need a better container. I'm going to start using these tubs because they're better sealed and stuff. But anyway, nasty, nasty stuff. I got my chemical safe rubber gloves on. I'm going to pull it out and uh, dump the parts in. Here's a quick shot of my new shelving unit. Holds all my anodizing stuff. Eric did a great job organizing that for me. All this crap was all over the floor before and uh, fits perfectly on the shelf. Love it. So as you can see, I got three containers here. This is my lye. This is a chemical called deox, desmut. Uh, it's sort of a nitric acid uh, cleaning solution. Both very, very nasty, nasty stuff. Um, take the utmost caution if you ever get close to them. And this is just rinse water. I guess all this white stuff is lye crystals. I, I buy it in crystallized form and mix it with water. So it must just be crystallizing in the atmosphere. Um, the lye is not 100% concentration. I mean, I, as I said, I get it in crystal form and I Diluted, it's diluted, I think, 10% by volume lye crystals to water. So it's not like straight up liquid lye, but it's still nasty stuff. So I got my handles here on a titanium racking wire. Uh, the metal doesn't really matter, I could use aluminum, whatever. Um, but titanium is going to last and not get eaten away as well. Um, now the way we did these is we made them green first, masked them with a um, uh, what's it called, paintbrush, uh, using nail polish, and those are the green lines you see, and then we stri stripped the rest and made it black. And after the fact, um, we soaked them in acetone, and uh, that got rid of the nail polish. But invariably, there's still going to be some nail polish in the cracks somewhere. And stripping 
um, the handles again is gonna obviously show up where any nail polish is left because there'll be like green spots on a perfectly silver handle. So to do it, very simple, I've just got an aluminum bar here. Um, it helps if the parts are relatively clean of fingerprints and all that stuff, but just drop it in. Swish it around a bit just to stir it up. Now that's going to take um, anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes, it all depends. Um, when I started anodizing about a year and a half ago almost, um, I wasn't making so many aluminum parts myself, so to give myself practice I would anodize paintball guns. I don't really play paintball, uh, it's a fun sport, but it's not for me, not my cup of tea. But um, I would do quite a bit of paintball guns for local guys, and because uh, they're all aluminum, anodized aluminum, so you'd have to strip off the original color and then re-anodize it another color. Um, so I did a lot of this with paintball guns, and it's a big pain in the butt. I love making my handles because right off the machine, quick tumble, get some nice and shiny and deburred, and these are raw aluminum. I don't need to strip them, I don't need to sandblast them or anything like that. These are ready to be anodized. Um, just it saves a lot of hassle in the anodizing process. So I know that is working when I see bubbles forming up around the part, and when it's really cooking, it's just going to froth with bubbles. Now the gas that it releases is, I believe, it might be hydrogen gas, but it might be something else, I'm not sure. Uh, it's pretty nasty though, like, it'll make you cough. Um, so, I would probably be wise to open the garage door. So it's been about six minutes, and you can see bubbles starting to form. which tells me they're getting there. Let me throw my gloves on and we'll pull it up and take a quick look. Now it's been about seven, seven and a half minutes. More bubbles. Would you look at that? Check this out. You can see how it's still kind of black. Give you some zoom here. Ah, I can start to smell it. Sprays right off. And you want to spray it off and uh, basically expose that fresh aluminum so that everything gets, gets stripped off. Let that soak for another few minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes. I got my flashlight on there. You can really see the rolling bubbles. R rolling? Rolling boil? I don't know. Uh, under the surface there, you can totally see those bubbles coming up. So let's pull them out and see how they look. Let me put my gloves back on. See on the back side here, it's still not uh, right there. Might spray off. Not really. I don't know if I've ever actually stripped a set of these handles. Never had to. Still a little bit in one of the lines there. Obviously quite a bit on the back side of this one. 
uh, this one as well. So, leave them running. Uh, thankfully, uh, these parts are not super, uh, they don't have to be an exact tolerance, like to the thousandth of an inch. Uh, whereas paintball guns, you know, the bore of a paintball gun, if it's two thousandths oversized, it'll shoot a lot different. A lot of people say it shoots better, but that's beside the point. But I'm saying the lie does eat the aluminum and it might eat a thousandth from the entire surface. Um, Luckily, in this case, it's not going to be an issue. That's all I'm saying. So we're coming on about 12 minutes. Let it run for a little bit more. Getting a little impatient. It's been about 14 minutes. So what I'm going to do is pull them out, spray them off. Noticeable difference on the back side, the black's almost on, but um, I don't know if you can tell, but the parts are a little gray, uh, depending on the grade of aluminum. These are 6061 T6 aluminum, pretty high grade stuff, uh, 7000 grade, which is even better, but uh, it tends to create this black film on the surface, 2000 grade also does the same. Uh, it's called smut, and that's what you need this uh, tank over here, this nitric acid based D-smut, they call it. I'm just going to rinse these off behind me and rinse water. And the D-smut will clean the aluminum even further. Let me just dip one, half of one of these in D-smut. Huge difference. See that on this one right in the middle? Now they are what I like to call a white aluminum, um, super bright. And it doesn't take long, just a few seconds in here. Gets rid of that smut. The smut is basically, I don't know what it is, dirty aluminum or something? Caused by the uh, lye. Yeah, now they are super white, bright aluminum. But still on the back side, in the corners here, there's some uh, crap some black that hasn't, hasn't uh, de-anodized yet, so it needs more time. I'm going to rinse these off, put them back in the lye for another, I don't know, five minutes. One more cycle was all it took. I'm up to about 24 minutes in the lye total, maybe a little bit less. Um, and they look nearly perfect. Tiniest little black speck right there, um, and my finger right there. Uh, it's probably a bit of nail polish or something. I bet you it'll scrape off real easy, and I'm actually going to retumble these for quite a while, as well as uh, a little bit of black specks right there. Um, so I bet you the tumbling will get rid of that just through the abrasive nature of it. Um, I don't particularly need to retumble them. Like with paintball parts, they would look really funny if if you didn't tumble them, especially the cleaner, more uh, polished parts. So, that, well, not tumble, you'd... Usually I would either polish them or um, bead blast them. But I'm a fan of tumbling these handles, so... I'm just going to tumble them again. They'll be super smooth and soft by the time they're done, so I'll tumble them with the other ones. But that's pretty much how you strip uh, old anodized aluminum. I forget what color these are going to be right now. I'll have to check my notes, but uh, they're going to be something different than they were. So that's how you do that. And these are those same handles after they've been tumbled for uh, about 13 and a half hours again. They probably had 8 to 12 hours the first time, but now they get to be re -anodized. They are practically brand new uh, compared to a new one that's been tumbled for the first time. They look exactly the same.